Hi, Kitty Scott Grove here to show you another new guitar I just picked up. If anybody uh, wondered uh, where did this guitar go on eBay the last week of October 2011, uh, a lot of you wrote me and told me that it was for sale, so what I do, I went and outbid all of you on it. So if you didn't buy it, um, I'm the guy who got it. Why? Could you let me know it was there? <laughs> okay, so um, how good of a deal did you guys just miss? Um, hard to say. Well, when this guitar showed up, it, um, the coil split switch was broken. It didn't work at all. It didn't even switch one way or the other. Had to replace that. Three-way toggle switch didn't work. Had to replace that. Of course, nobody it wasn't told about this in the auction. Uh, the neck was pretty well way out of whack. Had to redo the whole truss rod. Nothing was tightened anywhere. Had to redo everything. The frets were rusted out. Of course it was advertised as perfect and of course it wasn't. But the finish is perfect. Hey, does that help? Yeah. So anyway, it's been all cleaned up, resoldered, and all new um, switches and brought back to original um, in the fact that I use original parts from the correct years and everything is beautiful and as should be. Okay, so let's get down and check out what we have here. Okay, the HMT, the Heavy Metal Telecaster was made, this version, um, from 1991 to 1992, half a year of each year. Okay, cool blue finish. It's blue all the way around. There you go, you can see that. Okay, where were these made at? These were made in Japan, United States. Huh? <laughs> the United States of Japan. Okay, what do I mean by that? On all of these, you will see, made in Japan, if I can get my lighting right. Okay, and you'll always see this. Uh, Fender USA on all of the neck plates because that was pretty much constant with every HMT series um, Tele and Strat okay so they were all actually made in Japan um, there's a lot of rumors out there I'll tell you the truth 19 um, God 88 was the only year that they actually made uh, the Strats actually uh, fully made and assembled them in Japan. Um, everything else is they made them in Japan, assembled them in the United States after 88. Okay, so there were other, uh, these came out in 91 and 92, so I guess, hey, hey I guess how this worked. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, made in Japan, assembled in the USA, that's why we have good old uh, lace sensors and so forth in part of these. Okay, what's really cool about these? 24 frets. You have beautiful fret markers. They are not just regular shark inlays. Look at these. Okay, so those are cool. You have this pointy Fender HMT headstock. Wild looking logo. Is it ugly? No. It is to you, maybe. But to me, it's gorgeous. Why? Because it doesn't look like... It's not like an asshole. It's not like everybody has one. Okay, so these are cool. Um... The neck is wide and flat, just like a Jackson from back in the day, not the Fender Jackson, where they're slightly different these days. Again, the silver lace sensor, quiet as a mouse. Let's add an angle here, okay, so you get a little more top end here, a little more bottom end here, and it actually sounds very nice. The uh, DiMarzio in here is stock. The only humbucker around that actually sounds like a humbucker when it is in humbucking mode and actually sounds like a single coil when you split it. Okay, you'll get like on the uh, Gibson traditional pros, they have the uh, you know coil splits via the push pull pots. Uh, the burst bucker and the classic 57s, they sound like uh, a bastard child between a single coil and a humbucker. Either way you go, it just leans one or more, a little towards the other, but it never sounds like the real deal like these. Okay, so this is the only pickup around that actually does both and sounds true to the real deal. The Whammy is a Kaler, licensed by Floyd Rose. That's kind of <laughs> one getting in bed with the other there. Okay, and people, these are not hollow body. They're only hollow enough just to make the F-hole. Okay, so it is not like it's a hollow body guitar or a semi-hollow body or even one-tenth hollow. It's just hollow enough to make the F hole and then it goes right back into solid body again so it is a solid body guitar not a semi hollow body uh, I guess if you want to look up the definition of semi hollow body it means part of it's hollow 
which is hollow enough, like I said, to make that shape. That's it. Cool binding on it. Uh, made in Japan, so it is superior to the U.S. instruments, superior to the custom shop. Yes, I've owned over 2,000 guitars, 1,500 of them being Fenders and tons of them being USA. And these Japanese ones have blown them out of the water since the day they turned the reins over to Japan. And the Strat Pluses and stuff are pretty much about the only guitars that came close to catching up with these things. Okay, so there were many versions of the HMT to be put out. Um, this one, which is identical to two more that I have. I'll just show you a couple more finishes. You've seen them, maybe. Here's one with a nice flame maple top. It is not a photo flame. This is a real maple top in an antique sunburst. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? And black on the back. Everything else is the same including made in Japan, Bender USA. Okay, amazing guitar right there. And the other one I have will be identical, front and back again. Um, all stock, all original. Cherry Sunburst. Okay, how gorgeous is that, kitties? Okay, same guitar. Again, now we got red on the back. Again, we have made in Japan, we have some oxida oxidation on the uh, back, meaning you're losing your paint kit. Still says Fender USA. Why? Because the nameplate was made in uh, China for the USA. <laughs> Assembled in the USA, but again made in Japan. Okay, so that's what you have there. Now, a lot of these were actually acoustic electrics, where they actually had a regular... Um, acoustic style bridge, much like here on the Martin, where you'd have a bridge like that. That's what they had on these. Most of them were that uh, finish that was right here on this guy, the uh, sun, this particular darker sunburst. Most of them were like that. That were the acoustic electrics. They had three controls on the front. Uh, three, three knobs. Uno, dos, tres. Volume and for the uh, silver lace sensor that was here, just like in all these. Then I had a piezo pickup, like most of you have in your acoustics. No, no more on top of the body pickups. So just the one magnetic, not even magnetic really, but the lace sensor here, the piezo pickup here, so you had a volume for it. Then you had a blend control, so you could blend how much volume between each one, and no pickup selector. You just either fold one way or fold the other way, or anywhere in between. No more anything here. But those had a headstock on them like this HMT does. It looks just like a Strat but on a telly body. Okay, what's this one? Look, regular dots, which is what the other ones had too, the acoustics. This one is a 22 fret HMT from 1989. Um, black all the way through. This one does not say where it's made at. Why? Because somebody got rid of it. But it says HMT there. You can see the serial number maybe with my bad lighting right there. And above somebody's crashed off the made it in Japan. Back when people thought it was bad to have a Japanese made guitar. Anyway, oh while I'm looking, showing you this. You can see the decal here. Uh, HMT series also has one where they make a... Uh, without a decal. This is actually inlaid real nice with like, um, it's actually the mother of pearl, but so it's set really down deep inside and filled up and one of the few guitars that Fender didn't use a decal for, so it's actually really cool. So I'm looking for one of those if you guys can find one. And there's a couple other versions of these out there that I just can't land yet because I can't find a clean one. Another one that is just like this one, but slightly different in a couple ways. If you guys have a neck for this, let me know. Um, I'm without it. These come stock with the Floyd Rose Low Boy Whammy. So you could check out the cutaway. This was 100% designed this way. This is not an abomination. And you have your silver lace sensor here and what's called a dually. Okay, so two coils, a dual. Um, not necessarily humbucking because we still split them right here. Um, but you got a gold here and a blue here. So this is another version of this whole thing. This is the rarest one of all to find. And of course the person who sold it to me, sold it to me without the whammy, 
because he was going to use it for something else, then sold me the whammy later back for it because he didn't, his project didn't happen, but used his neck on an Ibanez or something, who knows, but didn't know how rare these stupid necks are. So if anybody wants to know, yeah, I bought this one for $810 was the winning bid on eBay, so I'll always bid up to at least a grand on these. Uh, are they worth more? Uh, to me they are, so uh, if you try to go against me, I will win. If they are not in perfect condition, which of course this one was supposed to be, but of course it wasn't, then I will always outbid you. But if it's got a mark on it, have at it, I won't even bid against you. Okay, so let's check this puppy out. Okay, um, what else can I tell you about it? Anything else? Um, no, that's pretty much it. Um, no, that's it. Uh, stays in, it's the one and only fender that actually stays in tune perfectly when you use the whammy. Why? Because of the whammy system. This one and the one with the Floyd, of course. So, they stay in tune perfectly. Not, they can't go wrong. <laughs> okay, so here's the guitar. Everything in single coil mode and straight through the uh, amplifier. I'm using a Johnson Millennium JM150, as I always do. Same presets on everything. Um, so same things, I'll use the same licks that I use in every single uh, review I do. Um, so here's everything in single coil mode, okay? Uh, both pickups on. as it gets. If you want the country part of the telly with both pickups on, I will adjust my picking because the majority of your tone is actually in the player, not the guitar or the amp. Does it sound anything like it did? No, it's because it's on my hands. I'm not switching anything. Now it'll sound different. What's that different? I'm using my fingers instead of a pick. That's why you can get 3,000 sounds out of the same guitar without changing anything other than the way you play it. Um, everything's on 10, as it should be. Um, okay, so now what we have is that. Okay, and the TBX Tone Control. What does that do? That stands for TBX. It stands for Treble Bass Expansion or Expander. So, from 0 to 5, let's go to 0 on the tone, up to 5, which is normally 0 to 10 on any other guitar. So 0, up to 5, which is, like I said, it has an indentation there, so it stops at 5. From there on, it goes and gives you more bass, more treble, without the use of any battery or active electronics at all, no preamp, and it leaves the mids where they are. So this comes in handy later for when you want to use distortion and you want the heavy metal sound where you get the scooped mids. Main reason for that being on these models. So there it is, back where we were. Everything uh, back to what is assumably 10, so it's on 5 on the TBX. Now I'm going to kick in the TBX from 5 up to 10 and we'll add in the extra treble, the extra bass, mids will stay the same. Back down to five, which is ten on any other guitar. Okay, so you can hear what that does. Okay, so let's go through the gamut, meaning the whole list of sounds here. <laughs> okay, so here we are on single coil in the bridge position. Okay, others want to hear this. Okay, you'll hear all this in just a second. Here's the bridge, a little bit of delay. So, any of your country players thinking this ain't going to cut it? Uh, bull. There it is. Okay, and the neck all by itself, just the silver lace sensor. Uh, people tend to like this delay for some reason. Okay, 
Okay, so there's all that noise. Okay, so let's go to um, the other sounds clean. Okay, let's go to the humbucker here in single coil one more time. Now humbucker. Okay, now we're going to the middle position. Single coil, single coil. Flick the switch. Humbucker, single coil. Start to compare again, single coils. Add the humbucker. Okay, and of course, no need to go here because you can't switch at the humbucker on a single coil neck pickup. So those are everything clean. Okay, now let's go to, you've heard everything clean. Let's go to the humbucker in humbucking mode with straight distortion and of course reverb. For me, why? Because I like it. Okay. Fender guitar that stays in tune through all that stuff. Okay, and I put the strings on 10 minutes before this video. Brand new, uh, the only kind of strings there are. Elixir polywebs, not the nanos. Nanos suck. <laughs> they like the polys, they don't like the little nanos. No, the girls don't, no, they don't. They might tell you it don't matter, but they're not. No nanos for the little, no nanos for the girls, no good. They want to be a poly. Okay, see, it's not me without some of that in there. Okay, so let's go to the middle. Um, now let's go back to the bridge again. I want to show you the TBX. Uh, so we're going to actually kick it up and toss in um, the same distortion. But now we've got the mids scooped out. Not actually scooped out, but we added more treble. We added more bass. Mids stayed where they are. So it's uh, semi-scooped. Uh, okay, so now this is good for the chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> Okay, so that's the TBX up on 10, giving you all that fun. Here we are in the middle. Same distortion, humbucker here, single coil here. <laughs> distortion. What else we got? 
HMT. Um, will we ever know if it actually stands for heavy metal Telecaster? I don't know. Uh, you can ask Fender, they don't know either. Okay, so again, made in Japan, uh, even with the heavy metal straps uh, from back in the day. Um, I know I've got some hanging around here. Like, uh, yeah, there's one. By golly. <laughs> there's bound to be one of everything laying in here. Okay, let's drop my pick instead of my guitar. Okay, there we go. Heavy metal strap. Uh, <laughs> cool beans. Um, but anyway, so again, this was 1988, the only year that they were actually made in Japan and assembled in Japan every year after that, starting in 1980. Nine, they were made in Japan, assembled in the USA for everything, including the one I'm holding and all the others. So that is the um, scoop anyway, as far as anybody can recall. So there you go. Once again, the HMTs have done a few reviews on them, but got this one today and wanted to rub it in faces of those who bid against me and also let you know that um, saved some of you a lot of trouble that may have bought this and had to do a lot of work okay so very extremely cool guitars and uh, love them love them love them and um, I'll keep continuing to get them because they do everything that you could possibly want and then some more so if you want to keep your country thing going and your major shred thing going and you need something to do it all this one actually can do it all and will stay in tune and um, Single coils sound like single coils, humbuckers sound like humbuckers, blah, 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 and they look great, taste great, less filling. Got the, uh, where we're at, with the 12-inch radius on the fretboard, so good and flat, nice, and if you like that old thing, so if it's going to have a H heavy metal thing in the title of it, it better play like, a, you know, old Jackson would, before Fender got a hold of them, too, and, but, um, if that's your bag, um, grab you one of these uh, when I'm not looking, okay? So, once again, Scott Grove, hope you enjoyed the little view into this. And, uh, can't beat them, kitties. Um, there is one more version that actually has a cutout for the, uh, D-Tuna. Okay? So, it's actually got the cutout right here. Factory. So, I have to get that version, too. Why? Because I don't have it yet. Okay? So they did make another one with the Floyd, like the one I showed you down there, but then they did another version right after the Detuna thing came out and they put the actual cutout just for the one place, you know how it looks back there. Anyway, so um, it's there, so a lot of versions of these out and this is my favorite of the ones that I have. <laughs> um, so anyway, there it is. Uh, like it, love it, live it, learn it, play it loud. Take care. Bye-bye.